Hi everyone, welcome to The Shack. So this is the last video I'm going to do um, regarding the Neptune 100 watt auto band switch in linear. Um, my friend Nigel, uh, G0CQZ, asked me to test it for him because he has been using it with his Hermes SDR QRP transceiver and it kept dropping out on transmit and he doesn't actually know why. Um, he suspected there might be an issue with the, lin with the Neptune linear itself, but turns out that's not the case. Um, it turns out that it's actually some kind of comms issue to do with the um, uh, band sensing via the Hermes. Um, and the reason he's come to that conclusion is because I've been using it with the ELAD FDM Duo, which some of you will know is a five watt QRP SDR transceiver. And some of you will know that I actually bought this thing um, my goodness, six or seven years ago, uh, maybe eight years ago, um, because it's a superb uh, SDR receiver. I rarely use it as a as a transceiver, but um, connected it to the to the Neptune and tested it, and it's never dropped out on TX at all. There's no issue with the um, uh, PTT comms whatsoever. So it's worked perfectly in that respect with the ELAD. Um, what is interesting is that although the band sensing clearly works, come on, 3.715 megahertz, and it's sensed 80 meters correctly, you notice the TX light is always on. And I think that's because the comms from the ELAD on PTT requires a, a stereo 3.5 millimeter audio jack plug. Uh, and I'm using one that Nigel gave me, which goes from three and a half millimeter to a sort of standard phono type connection, which is uh, which is mono. Uh, I think that's the reason why the TX light is on. And you can see if I, I've checked the band is clear. Um, if I just key up, uh, there you go. So got a good SWR, 1.1 to one and transmit forward power release and the TX light just stays on. So it doesn't, that TX light uh, indicator doesn't affect the, the usability of the uh, linear or the performance it works perfectly but I, I i think it's because i'm using a mono three and a half millimeter audio jack rather than a stereo uh jack which has an e e additional um conductor on it so there you go so the uh, neptune works perfectly um i'm going to give it back to nigel in a couple of days um he already knows that I've had no problems on transmit with it whatsoever, and it works really well. And for any any of you that have got the ELAD FDM Duo or any or any other QRP transceiver, and you uh, want to put a bit more power out, um, I can highly uh, I can highly recommend the Neptune. So um, yeah, no 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 hesitation no hesitation whatsoever in, in recommending the amplifier. Um, I've not looked it up on the internet, but uh, I'm looking on the front panel uh, and I'm reading www.60dbm.com, which does ring a bell. So um, they're available online. I think it's £400, £399, something like that. Um, you might be able to get a better deal, but um, a pretty cheap way to get, you know, 100 watts, give or take, um, out of your QRP transceiver. And uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure to use it. I'm, I'm just... It's a shame really for Nigel that the issue does appear to be with his Hermes uh, SDR rig because he loves that rig. Um, and even though it now is basically confirmed that that's where the problem lies, he's not gonna get rid of it because he likes it so much. So, um, uh, so there you go. Anyway, there you go. Neptune 100 watt HF six meter auto band switch in linear um, for use with a QRP transceiver, highly recommended by me. Thanks for watching, 73.